Hey what's up guys, this is Boomhawk here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up my Steam bot. It should help you trade, as I said in the GitHub. You can leave this running overnight, and it will automatically trade and do backpack.tf listings. This is not backpack.tf automatic, I created this myself, and I hope it helps some people. Um, what you first got to do is, of course, download the thing itself. Which is kind of self-explanatory. Um, so you download it. Uh, you have these files once it's extracted. What you're going to want to do is uh, first, before you edit anything there, you want to go over here to the link I put in the description. You're going to want uh, this one. So it's either 32-bit or 64-bit. Next, you're going to want to download AutoHotKey. And during the installation of AutoHotKey, there's going to be options. You need to select... Uh, install script compiler because that is going to allow you to convert these AHK files into EXEs that the program can use. Next, you're going to want to uh, go over here to backpack.tf, go to my listings, and uh, if these bright buttons are here, just right click them. But you want to make some listings, uh, just kind of obvious how to make them. So you're going to make them, you're going to just leave this open on your browser and make sure you're scrolled all the way to the top. Next, you're going to want to, uh, your shared and identity secret. There's going to be a link in the description how to get them. It involves your phone. The reason you need this it is because it uses it to bypass Steam Authenticator. And not in a bad way. It's so that while you're out doing something, it could automatically, um... Uh, basically accepting all that now most programs do that most bots already do that you don't see a bot when you make when you do one you don't see your phone blowing up so this isn't different than any other bot it's just a different way of acquiring that um, access it is a it's a known code so if you don't feel safe about it just google it figure out some info because this is a way to do it um, so you go to this website, um, it is going to be in the description also, uh, and then you have to get this right here. I blacked it out because don't let anyone have that key. When, uh, don't share your identity and shared secret with anyone. So the way that this file works is, is that um, once you get it from the tutorial in the description, you then basically look for this. And you look for this. Now this one comes first. This one comes second. So this is the first one. This is your shared secret. And this is your identity secret. It's pretty obvious once you get your head around it. So yeah. Um, once you have those things installed. You're now ready to set up the bot. I used This tutorial was 30 minutes at one point, And then I just figured it, I can't edit all of that. So what I did was. Is so you go into your bot.js, your editor of choice. Um, basically, you remember that API key you got from that link? You put that here instead of key goes here. Just get rid of that and you put it there. Don't get rid of the uh, parentheses though. So you just get rid of that. Um, then also, my uh, you have to put your own Steam ID there. Once your Steam ID is there, you, um, it allows it to basically check how many keys you have. Uh, yeah. Um. Oh yeah. You also have to, uh, I'm just going to give you an example. Once you're at here. Uh, what is that using again? It's using users. Okay, so you're gonna have to get, you're gonna have to go to this link, and uh, basically that's what this is doing. You don't have to go there, but it's it's just kind of cool, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, once you have your API key and all that done, you're ready to set up the bot. Um, I'm just gonna go back to here. Let me bump those again. Uh, I don't want to relist. Uh, dang it. Make sure it's hidden when you make the listing because we don't want to be doing that yet. So, um, so 
what you want to do is scroll all the way up, press the print screen button, open up your paint.net or editor of choice, paste that in, and then uh, basically you have your browser here. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is um, your picker tool or whatever you want. Uh, basically, you just got to hover over one of said pixels. Uh, which one was it? Um, ah, yes, this one. So you hover over this pixel. You open up the cell off in paint.net, or not paint.net, that'd be stupid. Um, you open that up, you get the, uh, make sure it's that pixel, okay? Make sure it's a pixel that is not, like, imagine the top part and bottom part wasn't there if it was just a minus sign. You can't select anything in the minus sign, because that's always going to be there. So you have to select either this or this, either these two, because they're perfect white. Um, so once you have those locations, it should say it in the actual bottom right. You're going to want to change these two values with it. Um, it's basically checking if it's white. Next, you want to um, put a mouse click for directly in the center, so around right here, around in the middle of these two. Um, so you're going to get that one, and you're going to put it there. And then you're just going to zoom out, get any value from over on the right side, and put it there. And I remember these are all X, comma, Y values you'll see in the bottom right of paint.net right here. Um, once you did it for that, you're going to want to open up cell on. Now basically you're copying over the same values that you had before, but it's just moved up a little bit. Okay? Now that you have your cell on and off set up, it could now turn off and on the cell orders by itself. You're, for this to work, you'll have to leave the bot open. Now, I'm, this may seem like a pain, but this bot is mainly meant to be used during the night or when you're actually not there, so that it makes you profit while you're not even there. And if you run out of keys or you get too many keys, it'll stop buying or selling. You know, it's very good. Um, I think it's very useful. Next, you're going to want to basically do the same for buy off and on. Um... You get the same pixel practically, but it's on the buy order one. You get that one. Get the location. You put it there. You get the location of this one. You put it there. And then that same pixel you got from here, you just put it there. Same for buy on. You basically put the same values as buy off. Um, and then you compile them by right-clicking. Next, you have to go into prices.json. And you could set the buy price and the sell price for your keys. Make sure that it's the same as this. As the buy and sell orders on backpack.tf. So your bot can understand it properly. Um config.json also very important you put your username your password that same shared secret as before and that same identity secret as before right in there you save it you save that and um, your bot is ready to run um, uh, basically what you got to do now is run the bat file if you have no JS installed it should open up fine once you do that your bot is up and running make sure you leave this google chrome window open and make sure you're scrolled all the way to the top now something important that most people would forget is this what that's doing is it's practically just blocking it um you see how it pushed everything down that's not going to be there every time you keep clicking this or something right so you just want to x that out and then get the values uh, I mean the location of the white pixels there so that it is a little bit more fluid in its functioning so that you can just start it up and stop it now another cool feature of this bot is um 
you can message it and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the part that uh, makes it run the macros real quick. Just so I can demonstrate the bot. Oh, I'm not logged in. That's not going to work. Um, so yeah, well, uh, I'll show you the commands a little bit later. But I, I could tell you that um, if you open up the Steam app on your phone and you message your bot account. Then you could tell it things like hi. It'll respond. You can message it stop, which will turn off all the buy and sell orders, and then it'll close itself 29 seconds later exactly. Um, you could also tell it to craft, and only you could tell it to craft and stop because you're the admin, and that's why I had you put in your Steam ID 64 under owner ID, and your Steam ID 64 goes here not normal steam id but make sure it's the steam id 64 you could get from any um a steam id finder website so yeah i hope you enjoyed it i hope you um have fun trading have a great day and uh don't die